deconstruction is something that we think we have to do in order to arrive at this place. So there's a particular process that often unfolds using inquiry or koans. <clears throat> so in other words, being here is often preceded by a certain type of activity that's called inquiry. And so people put the label on it, deconstruction. Oh, they see something different is happening here. It's like this is moving our stream of thinking away from just multiplicity just creating lots of distinctions and how are things connected and introducing simplicity, bringing us to some center point. So then people, we put the label, our deconstruction is happening. But at this point we can see that nothing needs to happen to be here. There's nothing to be deconstructed. That's what makes it so simple. That's what makes this utterly, totally, exquisitely simple is that there is no work required whatsoever to be here in this way in which there is nowhere further to go. That's what the non-dual space is in a way. There's no forwards, there's no backwards. So you can ask what I sometimes call checking questions. Can we do more of this, more of what? Right? Can we do less of this? Can we dilute this? No, we can't. There's nothing to dilute. And in a way, this is checking also that we're in the space. Who is here? We can't say who is here. So it's all been deconstructed. You know, the, the I, whatever it is, this. But just all so simply. So we can never see the self. Whatever we can see, it's in the field. It's contents of awareness. So it's an idea or something that we're saying, this is me. It's not the perceiver. So the perceiver is unfindable.